Welcome to the Burden and Blessing Podcast, a study and discussion forum on the truth of God's Word. Our Word of the Week takes an in-depth look at important Bible words so we might increase and deepen our understanding of God's Word of Truth. We pray that these brief studies will enable you to get more out of your daily reading and hearing of God's Holy Word. Welcome back to Burden and Blessing Podcast. I am Pastor Ben Libby, and you are listening to the Word of the Week. Our Word of the Week this week is the word trespass. Many of the words that we take a look at here on Word of the Week Podcast are words that are not used today and are commonly found in the Bible, and thus we further explain them so we can understand them today. But this word, trespass, is used today, isn't it? If someone was to trespass, then, that, then we would understand that to mean someone's going across a line, going onto someone else's property in which they're not invited. You might recall certain si- seeing some signs that say no trespassing. People aren't supposed to cross onto those lines. They do not have permission. If they were to cross that line, they would thus be trespassing. Well, how does the Bible then use the word trespass? Well, really, it's synonymous with sin or transgressing. A trespass, basically, in the Bible is is used in the same kind of language. If you think about trespassing, stepping over a property line, and then consider that the property is owned by God. We are thus trespassing against our God when we step over his lines. And that is one line that you do not want to step over. We do not want to trans- trespass against our God and step over the line that he has firmly put down. So, this begs the question, what are the lines of God? Have we stepped over these lines? Well, we clearly know that the lines of God that he has put down are what we commonly refer to as the Law or the Ten Commandments. These are firmly put down lines, and God says, do not cross them. He says, thou shalt not, and that is talking to us. We can't tra- trespass get what God says, infringe upon the lines that he put down, the orders that he put down to govern our society, and we know that the penalty of crossing those lines is death. So, have we crossed those lines? Have we gone over the lines that God put down? Have we trespassed against what he says? I was recently watching a sitcom, and there was a situation where these two roommates were arguing, and one roommate had wronged the other. The one roommate says, I was way over the line. The other roommate says, over the line? You're so far past the line that you can't even see the line. The line is a dot to you. And that is our case as well. The line is a dot to us. That's how far we've gone past what God has told us. We've far, we've so far trespassed against our God that his line is so far past us. It's a dot to us. We can't even see it. That's how much we have trespassed. But the good news, of course, is Jesus never trespassed. He never broke any of God's commandments. He always hit the mark. And now, because Jesus was willing to suffer and die for us, we too have that righteousness. The fact of the matter is, yes, we have sinned against our God, we have trespassed against his law, and those trespasses get us death. But Jesus came, and he now gives us his righteousness, and now we've never trespassed, we've always kept the law, and because of that, we get to go to heaven. Colossians 2 verse 13 and you being dead in your trespasses and in the uncircumcision of your flesh he has made alive together with him that is Christ having forgiven you all your trespasses having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us which was contrary to us and he has taken it out of the way having nailed it to the cross or look at how Paul writes in Ephesians chapter 2 He says, And you he made alive who were dead in trespasses and sins. That was us. We were the ones who were dead in trespasses and sins. But God, 
who is rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. And that is the ultimate silver lining of what trespasses are. Yes, we have crossed the line that God put down, but the silver lining of that is Jesus never did. And because he never did, now we haven't either. And we are now saved by what he has done. Jesus never went against God. In fact, he obeyed him perfectly. And we too, now because our Savior has done that, have obeyed our God perfectly. I'd like to close with a passage from 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 through 19. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Now all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ, and has given us the ministry of reconciliation, that is, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them, and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. All praise and thanks be to Jesus Christ, who did not impute our trespasses to us, but rather forgave us all of our trespasses and made us a new creation and has reconciled us to our God. We encourage you to listen for a new word each week on Burden and Blessing Podcast, where we believe and confess that every word of God is true. Until next week, be assured that God's word is truth and is more precious than gold.